Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Good to be back. Good to have you back as well. Today I'm off to the Adelaide Toy and Comic Fair down at St. Clair. Come on with me. I'm heading off to do a vlog there. Let's go and have a look at what is on sale. There might be some hidden treasures for us. Let's go have a look. Heading to the Adelaide Comic and Toy Fair. St. Clair. Vlog, let's do this. Where are we going, Xavier? Hi. Adelaide Comic and Toy Fair. Oh yeah, boy. Decent line to get in. Might be lining up for a little bit. guys all done here at the toy convention um, it was awesome lots and lots of variety of stuff really cool Adelaide's awesome love my city um, got a few things uh, and got to see a lot of cool stuff all right guys that's a wrap the Adelaide comic and toy fair 
All done, heading home now. Uh, spent a little bit, only about $50. Bought a mystery pack from Pika Blue. Chris and Ray was there as well. Shout out, boys. What a day. How good is this? Hello, coming Yeah, nice and sunny. Beautiful, what do you think, hun? What was your favorite part of the comic and toy collection convention? Um. I don't know. Well, what did you like most? Oh, I guess nostalgic stuff. Like what? Like the Nintendo games and... 64 was pretty cool. The Game Boy things. Yeah, what did you, did you buy anything? Oh, did you buy anything? Uh, yes. I bought some stuff. <laughs> I bought some crowns and colouring in books for the children. And a sign, a car holding sign thing for my... Dad, that likes cows. Oh yeah, but there's something for everyone there. Thanks for being in my vlog. They're killing me. All right, I'm back from the Adelaide Comic and Toy Fair. Really, really cool. Wide variety of stuff, guys. Amazing. Well done to the people who set it up. And they're back on again in April 2023. So I'll definitely be going. Probably go with my brother-in-law, Trolley. Wad of cash load up on some cool stuff. There was heaps of stuff that I wanted to get that I didn't, so hopefully next time those people are there again with some similar stuff. Uh, the things that I really wanted, Nintendo 64 games, I do have quite a few, but I wanted some more. There was also some controllers as well, um, some really cool stuff. But yeah, look guys, they had, obviously, you've got Pokemon cards, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, sports cards, graded stuff, slabs, sealed products, then you've got plushies, toys of everything, then you've got like Marvel, you know, you've got the DC Universe stuff, comic books, like vintage comic books, series one, collector's items, you know, in sealed team bags that are super expensive, um, heaps of comics, heaps of toys, Lego, nano blocks, artwork, there was heaps of stuff for everyone, Star Wars, you name it, they had it, so they did a really good job setting up. All right guys, well, I'm gonna show you what I got. Uh, I went and saw my friend Chris uh, and Ray at their stall. So Pika Blue Game Corner, uh, shout out to you guys. And I bought a little mystery pack with some things in it. So we're gonna have a look now, and have a little sus. All right guys, here we go. Pika Blue Game Corner. Chris, you have some awesome, awesome stuff. You're an absolute legend in Adelaide. Um, really happy to have seen you and Ray helping out as well. Shout out. Um, so yeah, the boys, Putting in, their, putting in the hours and they had a really nice assortment of stuff. And I decided to go with the mystery pack. There was some other stuff that I wanted, but I held off, um, but I supported by getting a mystery pack. So they had a, 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 an assortment of mystery packs. Um, I can't remember the odds on the cards, but every one of them had a, a graded card, so a slab. Um, I'm pretty sure there was a first edition Team Rocket pack in there. Uh, let me know in the comments, boys, if I've gotten that right. Um, and there were some other nice cards as well. We've got the Pokemon 25th anniversary Japanese uh, sleeves, which is awesome. L don't have these, so awesome. Love it, love it. Uh, I also pulled well, two packs with it as well, so Lost Origin and Astral Radiance. There you go, the Machamp, and then two reverses. Single card in the mystery pack, so we ended up getting the Manatrix EX. Very nice, very nice. And here we go, guys. Here's the slab. Here's the slab, CGC, CGC, very nice. Packaged beautifully, of course, high standards from the lads. And boom, there we go, a Lucario V from Champions Path. So CGC graded nine, centering eight and a half, surface nine and a half, corners nine, edges nine and a half, mint nine. So yeah, that's all right, got a bit unlucky, um, would have loved would have loved uh, one of the other nicer ones, but it is what it is. That's the whole point of getting a mystery pack. It's a mystery. You don't know, um, but I'm just happy to have supported the boys and they had some really cool stuff there. That little games corner with um, the Pokemon Game Boys happening, uh, emulators, that was awesome. And they obviously had lots of single cards, lots of stock, so yeah. That is a wrap. Thank you so much for tuning in. I had fun going there. I'll definitely go there again next year. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and had a little look at some of the stuff. I didn't show everything, but a little bit of an assortment and a bit of a taste as to what was there at the toy and comic convention. Um, all right, guys, I'm out. If you're new to the channel, you know what to do, guys. Hit that subscribe button for me, almost at 600, which is amazing. 
Uh, give the video a like as well, guys, and drop me a comment, say g'day, and we'll see you on the next one. Stumming out. Peace.